the, the procedure of mini transplants or reduced intensity conditioning uh, is very, very interesting, being able to manipulate the body's immune, um, I immune abilities to combat cancer. Can you tell me what you've been doing? You've been looking at a very interesting uh, possibility with acute myeloid leukemia, but acute myeloid le leukemia is very difficult to treat, isn't it? Very true. So uh, we uh, know that both uh, myelodysplastic syndrome and acute myeloid leukemia in the elderly have got poor long-term outcomes. This was the population that was the basis for this study. We uh, also know that conditioning regimens, including busulfan, have the potential for toxicity, and therefore, of late, there is a move towards defining the pharmacokinetics of the drug and giving a targeted dose of the drug. What we did in this study was looked at a test dose to first define in the conditioning regimen the actual dose of busulfan to administer. And what we targeted was instead of the 50% dose uh, that is used traditionally in reduced intensity conditioning regimens, a 75% dose, hoping that we could strike the right balance between efficacy and toxicity. And where does azacitidine come in? Azacitidine is introduced about six weeks to uh, three months after the stem cell transplant uh, is done to reduce the chances of the disease relapsing. We know that with AML and MDS, a lot of the mortality is due to the disease coming back despite the initial eradication in the early days post-transplant. Also, the drug has the potential to modify the immune system to potentially um, uh, abrogate graft-versus-host disease, uh, so it has got a multi-pronged uh, attack potential uh, on the uh, diseases that we studied. Now, mini transplants are essentially a balancing act. You've been trying targeting as a means of getting that balance right. Correct. What did you achieve? So what we saw was that in 80% of patients, we got within our target dose of the drug. And so that, uh, I think, uh, validated the, uh, our initial assumption that we could, with a test dose, define an appropriate targeted dose. What do you think might be the impact on outcomes of, of doing that? So I think that the study is a little early to uh, know for sure as to how the long-term impact of the patients uh, is going to turn out to be. Uh, we will need longer-term follow-up to see if this entire strategy led to superior outcomes. It was a phase two study, so once again, uh, the data that emerges will be hypothesis generating. The true uh, answer uh, would lie in a randomized trial to conclusively prove that a conditioning regimen or post-transplant modifications are beneficial. Could there be a benefit in treatment-related mortality? Very true. That is one of the uh, potentials with the targeting to reduce treatment-related mortality. So overall, what would you draw doctors' attention to this finding in terms of focusing the, the perhaps the future use of mini transplants in, in this setting for acute myeloid leukemia? So this uh, trial gives us a validation of a test dose strategy to target a specific dose of busulfan. It also tells us that azacitidine can be delivered to a majority of patients in the post-transplant setting, and longer follow-up will tell us if we've made an impact in the long-term progression-free and overall survival of these patients.